Uh, hi everybody. Uh, I've got three little amplifiers here. And this one here. This is a LM LM386 little eBay one pound fourteen um, it cost and it's a little eBay variation of the LM8 uh, the LM god damn it three eight six three eight six sorry this is also an LM386 this is one that I've built the immediate differences between the two ICs is that this LM386 is not a Texas instrument whereas this one is so you can see that in there That is the Texas Instruments. And here we have got a TDA 7267. All three are little mono amplifiers. Again, this one I've put together. This one I've put together. This is a little radio circuit I'm working on, but ignore that, don't see that at all. Pretend it's not there. Um, and so what I did was I gave them all an input of a one of a one kilohertz sine wave uh, and at various different voltages. I don't know if you can see that. So we got six volt, nine volt, twelve volt and fifteen volts. And these are the numbers they came out. Uh, that's six volt. I don't know why, but it sounds like I'm going quiet. It's because I'm looking at the, the monitor screen for the camera, just to make sure that I've got any information that we need to see. But anyway, six volt, uh, 1.25 RMS, 3.6 volt peak to peak, um, and that gives a, a 0.19 watts. Nine volt, we got nearly half a watt in power. Um, the 12, the 12 volt just over half a watt and 15 watt uh, we're going to 0.65 there as you can see and um, I've not actually done uh, the other ones yet added them together but I'm going to do that in a moment yeah, I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like uh, on the oscilloscope when you're measuring let me see if I can put this on an island for you. There. I don't know if you can see that very well. I hope. It's relatively clear. Uh, now I'm just going to put the power on because I've actually got... Oh, I'll show you. I've actually got this one connected up. Look. So here's the... Here's the one kilohertz hurt sight wave. It's coming through this wire here. And it's coming to the input on here. This is connected up to the power supply in the background there. Um, the 15 volts there is for the is for this. And we're gonna go straight in for six volts uh, when I switch this one on. Um, which is then a little amplifier. We're not gonna hear anything because the output is connected to this 8 ohm 100 watt dummy load and it's also scoped at that point and it goes up to the oscilloscope here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on the power and there you can see the sine wave um, you can see the bottom left I don't know how well you can see this it's some oh, by a decent camera when I can uh, so what we've got there is a pretty clean signal um, and if I use, as you can see, you can see that, 
you see the frequency there, you can see the voltage. Um, now, if I use the volume control down here on the little amplifier, I can then start adjusting. Let me put that still. And then start adjusting. As you can see, that's clipping. And that's not at full power. What we're going to do is we're going to take it to just as it clips. See there, it's too much. That'll be distortion. So, around about there. Oh, about there, I would say. And that's at 6 volts. That's my, um, that's my, um, um, M386. Now, at 6 volts on the eBay version, um, we get uh, 902 millivolts. But at 6 volts on this one, we're getting 1.14 volts. And I have noticed that the TI chip is better. You, you, you can turn it up, you can get extra out of it. You get more power, more bang for your money out of it. Um, and like I said, I've done that with these three chips. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is just quickly done the math. Um, using the calculator, of course. Because we're going to take that, um, like in the instance of this now, 1.4 uh, volts square root that and divide it by 8 times and that will give us I'll turn on my calculator to actually do that uh, give us this here so I don't know if it's going to focus in so we go 1.14 volts yeah you can see that good uh, and I'm going to square root that and then divide it by 8 so we get 0.1624 watts which isn't a lot really is it but that's at 6 volts that's at 6 volts if I put that back there it's going to go for a little one there is it if I put that back there like that <clears throat> and now I'll turn this little thing up to I'll just go straight up to 12 volts Okay, so there's no real change there because I've not changed the um, the volume on the on the little amplifier. But I'm about to start turning the volume up now, and as you can see, the amplitude gets bigger. I'm not clipping as yet, so and we're on 2.22 volts already. I'm just going to turn that down so we can carry on going up ah oh, look we are clipping just there so we've got about 2.57 at 12 volts which isn't too bad um, the, the kit the little kit the ebay because yeah, this is the ebay LM386 and the one that's actually on test is the one that I put together, the TI um, as you can see plus 12 volts there we get 1.99 volts RMS but we get 2.57 with the um, now don't worry about this um, that's just doing that, let me uh, let me just change the view there um, and let me just turn that to 500 millivolts and I'll just move that up a little tiny bit on 12 so you okay like that so as you can see you know, there's that one that one kilohertz signal and there's nothing really happening either side of it the sinusoidal wave is nice and clean 
If we turn it up a little bit more, look, where you can see it's clipping top and bottom, that will be the distortion. And as you can see here, it's picking up extra harmonics, which are really unwanted. If we turn it up any further, it will happen even more. Oh, I'm turning the wrong amplifier, and it's, nothing's happening on the screen, of course. Um, it'll happen just more and more as you can see and they get worse and worse that's absolutely hideous sounding I'm sure we don't have to listen to it and there you go and that's pretty much no distortion whatsoever and I said 2. 2.7 2.69, 2.7 volts RMS Okay, so, so that's it, so I'm going to do the math now for these, and uh, with the calculator of course, uh, I'll just, I'll just put in the, the results of those and see which one comes out uh, best, because they're, they're all rated around about the same thing, um, the TDA 7267 is just about the same as the LM386 and then there's just two two different LM386s 